This decadent cake is seasonal, stylish, and perfect for any fall wedding or event. I started with the birch bark, which I did by putting parchment paper down, and then I heated up some chocolate almond bark, and I painted uh, the wood grain right onto that. Then I heated up the white almond bark and poured that over it and spread it into a thin layer and then pop that in the refrigerator just for a little bit so it would set. When that came out, I scored it gently and then broke it into the birch panels. I used almond bark for the top bark also, but this time I rolled the parchment paper up and let it set and dry like that. So then when I unrolled it, it broke into little bark-like pieces. I made some more details by the fondant leaves. So I rolled those out and cut them into the leaf shapes. I let those dry on some aluminum foil that I crumpled up and then gently spread out so when they dried they would keep some natural shape. For the detailing on the top, I did some evergreen trees. So I used some candy melts, which come in these round little pellets that I warmed up, put in a piping bag, and squeezed those out into some tree shapes. And then I piped another layer of the evergreen on top of that to cover up the kebab stick. I made the moss by using some graham cracker crumbs and some olive green airbrush color. I mixed that up and it made a really nice mossy consistency for the detail. The bottom tier was two 10 inch rounds, which I iced in buttercream. And then I did a thin layer of fondant on top of that, which I put the detailing of the top of a tree stump and a little bit of wood grain on the side where I knew I was gonna put my heart cut out. I added some golden brown and a little bit of harvest brown and ivory to give it that wood grain look. Then it was time to add the bark on the outside of the tree. So I used some chocolate fondant uh, mixed with white fondant to get it a nice bark color. And I have a fondant texture mat that I rolled onto it to give it that real wood bark texture. And then I went back in with my airbrush and just added some more dimension. So I hit it from one side with the golden brown and then I went and hit it from the other side with the harvest brown just so those ridges would catch with the color and look more realistic. And just for a little more fun detail, I took a little piece of the bark out like somebody had carved a heart into it. Then I used three eight inch rounds for the middle tier and I iced that in white buttercream and then it was time to add the birch panels. So I added those on one by one just by layering them all the way around. The top tier is two six inch rounds and I iced that in chocolate buttercream and then added the chocolate bark shavings. And that looked cool by itself, but I wanted it to have you know, smoother bark look. So I melted some of the almond bark and painted a thin fudge layer around the whole thing. The top tier, I got that on to the other cakes and I really liked the look of that. I thought it looked like the side of a mountain or a cliff and it really set the scene for the trees on top of it. Now that the cake is all stacked, it's ready to assemble it with all the fun pieces. So I sprinkled the moss around the top and a little bit on the sides and the bottom. And then I put the evergreen trees on top and kind of created a little scene there, along with some chocolate rocks at the base of those. And then I put the fondant leaves on, kind of here and there, and just decorated it up and gave it that nice fall feeling. Not only is this a decadent cake, but there's so many different interesting elements to look at.